we find ourselves once again out here on Revan to the Coast, continuing our quest of trying to get all the new species diamonds just in single player. And I wanted to start out by answering a fairly frequently asked question, which is some form of why do I use the 16 gauge with its 5 shot capacity over the base game 12 gauge pump with its 6 shot capacity? And the answer really is just a matter of personal preference with the sights. I just don't like the 12 gauge open sights as much. I find with the 16 gauge, I've got better accuracy and better target acquisition. I'm not saying the 16 gauge is better, it's just for me a better option for the birds on maps like Reventuli. So on that note, we'll swap out the 12 gauge for the 308 so we'll have a loadout that covers everything on this map, and we'll get going looking for some of the species we have yet to get a diamond of. And starting off with one of my favorite sounds on Reventuli, the sound of a black grouse flying through the trees and you know, I'm not sure if it is the fact that we had a troll, or maybe it's just wanting to get a diamond to go with the leucistic and a multi-mount, but I've really wanted to get a diamond one of these, and of course having the troll, I want to say before the leucistic, was a little bit unfortunate. I don't know that we have the leucistic, really, if we didn't get the troll and had to kind of keep going after them, but it's one that I really want. They, like most of the other bird species on this map, tend to present shots, you tend to get a fair bit of them if you are going after them. I feel like it's only a matter of time and the more we get the better. It's just hopefully sooner rather than later. I can't wait to put that multi-mount together. Well I suppose we shouldn't pass up this rare opportunity. Got some tundra binkies just walking along here and we might as well try to take one or two of them for respawns. There's two level threes in there. We'll try to get the closer one first just to, I guess, take the best odds of getting at least one, and then if we can get a shot off at a second male, we'll try to do that. So that's maybe even just the two and the three since they're so close together. Got that one, and got that one, not too bad. And uh, that was the thing. It's occurred to me recently, as we have a female black grouse over there, if we continue to focus on black grouse as much as we have, we really start to limit the potential of finding some of those new species diamonds that we don't have. Mountain Hare and Raccoon Dog at least kind of live in the same areas down south, and then Waterfowl to some degree can be hunted multiple species at a time. You can have setups for geese and ducks, you can have setups for, you know, maybe multiple duck species. I don't know if there's anywhere you could do bean geese and gray lag geese, but even still, black grouse for the most part, other than the occasional Mountain Hare, are kind of in areas by themselves for the species that we don't have diamonds of yet. So I don't want to get too bogged down in just chasing them. And when we get some free male bean geese to maybe help with that, we'll take them. What are the odds that we would encounter this twice in a row? I only see one male in this entire flock, but again, a potential free respawn here if we can hit it. And we'll take these every time. I can only probably count on one hand the amount of times I've seen random flocks of geese landed like in the trees. In different fields and areas I've seen them down south a fair bit I'd say but up here I haven't had it that much. It's interesting that we had it just twice in a row like that but again we'll take those shots if it can kind of cut off some time from eventually what I assume is going to be a little bit of a tundra bean goose grind. We'll take those opportunities. I do think at least with the geese it shouldn't be that bad, they're pretty big targets. Generally, when a flock comes in, as long as we can get the setup right, we can get three or four. The ducks I'm not as sure about. I think sometimes they're tougher to set up on and it can be more difficult to get good numbers every single flock. But, I mean, if it's the geese that we're getting chances at, we'll take them. Now it's no secret, we've been on the Great One Black Bear grind for well over a month at this point, and I've been saying on streams when I've been asked, that I think a great one whitetail grind on Reventuli might be something we consider doing. This map is just so much fun to hunt on, and the amount of whitetail you can find is insane. So it's something I'm considering, and I guess as we're running around looking for black grouse and rabbits before heading south, we might as well take a max wood estimate buck. It's always one of those things, it could take one kill, it could take thousands of kills, and when the opportunity's there, especially when it seems nothing else is around, we might as well take it, and again, kind of like the bingies, just kind of chip it away at something that we're not even currently working on. Now, my worry is, I don't know if we can claim it. 
maybe if we climbed up and jumped down we could? We might be able to get over here still. I really don't see another option here, so this is a thing you can do. If you've got a steep cliff where you can't actually go along the edge to claim something, you've got to time it right, but you can jump down and claim them that way. Now the thing is, if you get knocked out by water, you get respawned at the nearest area. If you hit solid ground and your health goes to zero, then you respawn at the lodge, so you've really got to pick your spot. Messing it up can cause a long run that you probably don't want to do, so I'm kind of liking this. There's a little bit of an outcrop here almost that we could jump off of and at least try to get it. Although I don't think we're going to make it that far, unless we can just scoot down this edge. I think this is going to be our best move. Got him claimed. It's just, like I said, it's a matter of timing, hitting the E or whatever your button is to confirm the trophy. 223 gold and uh, probably not the most conventional way to get a white tail buck, but an interesting one. I don't know where that black grouse was sitting. Up to 123. Managed to get a hit on the second shot, although clearly not a good one. That's one of the better estimates we've seen in a while. Now, I know up in this area, I had like a 117 to 127 or something like that. It was probably over a week ago, and I've passed through this area a number of times looking for it, and just haven't seen it since. It's, I mean, as a level 2, pretty close already at 117 minimum. I'd like to find that again and at least see what it scores, but as for now, just another kind of decent one. All things considered, he really didn't go that far. 114.8 for him. One pellet in the wing. I think we got lucky too. I felt like that shot was too far right. So that's probably one pellet on the far left side of the spread that happened to actually hit him. Once again, we're running into quite a lot of black grouse in one area. That's the way that it tends to go. It's just little pockets of them, it seems. And, I mean, I don't want to turn it into a black grouse only hunt because we've had a number of hunts that have been at least mostly focus on them, but when they're around, I can't help but go and try to see what they are. Well, unfortunately, I was never able to actually spot that black grouse. I did get a track in the area, which I assume is the same one which maxed at 1.12 kg, so it wouldn't have been anything special, but I never was able to actually lay eyes on it, and at some point, we were just going to have to get down here to the south if we wanted to look for raccoon dogs and mountain hare and stuff like that, so thought it was time. It is 12.30 in game, which is not really a time we tend to go through here, but I think that can be good, especially with the raccoon dogs when we're often hunting them in their rest zones, and usually species like them, and I'm not 100% sure the raccoon dogs do this, they tend to rest at multiple locations kind of back to back, so my hope is maybe by going through at a different time, we might actually spot ones that we otherwise wouldn't see, like in a slightly different location or something like that, so... In the meantime, getting a couple of bonus willow ptarmigan. And we'll see if we can find any new ones or any respawns from our previous hunts. Not a bad start. Got two running side by side right up there. I'm not sure where they fled out of. But again, if we can help it, which kind of going through the grass, I'm not sure that we can. I'd like to get both the male and the female. I talked about this before, and if you've been around for a couple of years since the Red Fox grind, you may recall the approach I took to that, which was generally, if I could, take both the male and the female, with the theory being they travel in groups of two, and maybe, and I'm really not sure, I never really had confirmation on this based on what I saw, it just seemed to help with the amount that I was finding for males, maybe you have to take both in the pair to actually get the respawns. The theory being, if you only shot the male and the female is going around up by itself, a new male wouldn't spawn to take the place of it. At least after a while I started to see a lot of solo females for the Red Fox, so trying to, when we can, take the female raccoon dogs. And not bad, our first male being a gold today. You know, just thinking about the potential difficulty of trying to get a diamond mountain hare, I think back to the antelope jackrabbit on Rancho, and that was a really tough grind, and one that ultimately we never did actually complete in single player, we ended up eventually with two diamonds in multiplayer. And then for Mississippi with the Eastern Cottontails, really early on, I think actually maybe in early access, but that early access actually kind of counted, we were able to get a level 3 maybe within the first couple of days. Since then, I've never seen a level 3 and never got a diamond level 2. 
something about the rabbits and whether it's my hunting style or the areas that we hunt, I don't tend to ha have a lot of success. So every single one that we see, we got to make sure we get for respawns. If we're doing this single player challenge and I'm really committed to making it happen, it's going to require a lot of those kind of commitments. When there's something there, we got to make sure we take it out. Now that's a positive. First guaranteed gold of the, at least raccoon dog portion of this hunt. Of course, the level six earlier made it. Only a guaranteed gold if we make the shot. I think that follow up was good. Hunting pressure appeared pretty much immediately. I'm curious to see where the first shot hit. I think it could have been potentially shoulder blade or something like that. Got another one running off there, which wouldn't be surprised if that is the second one from this pair. I guess we perfectly shot a tree or something in there, so we'll try to go after that one still. Actually, both of these were vital hits. I guess single lung doesn't insta-drop them, that makes sense. 8.3 though, not half bad. We don't get a lot to go over 8 score. And luckily, they don't really run all that fast, so the female witch is not really giving us a great angle. Kind of going for the same thing, getting that second shot in there as it kind of stands back up and offers a little more of a broadside angle. That can work really well if you get the shot off quick enough, but there's only a really brief window between them starting to stand back up and pretty much going to full speed again. Now we've got another mail track, and actually again, we hit liver and it would have been good enough, but double lung on that follow up to ensure the silver medal. Not that it matters too much on a female raccoon dog, but Practice is good, you never know if we decide to take a dumb shot on a level 9 after frustration of tracking her for forever and kind of knowing what to do in those scenarios, I think it's important. That's why I try to use, even in that case where we could have used like the 308 and just make sure it goes down, I try to use the 243 and as long as I'm using a weapon that I'm likely to shoot a diamond with, I just potentially have more knowledge on situations that could occur and that might allow me to fix a mistake or just know what shots could work and what shots won't. In the meantime, Got that level four there. Now, I don't think this is gonna work. Actually, did we get that? We may have. I felt like it was a little bit low, but they're kind of, again, they're, they're low in standing up when the follow-up happens. That's kind of working good. Now, I'm not saying I would do that intentionally for a level nine, but when the opportunities arise, it's a good thing to practice, and this time, we finally get to see it. Flesh shot the first time, double lung just barely the second time. I don't know that I'd recommend going for that, uh, again, especially on a level 9 or a rare maybe where you want to ensure you keep the metal. Works pretty good for, for getting them down quick even at bad angles. So one final raccoon dog today is a level 6. I was thinking as well kind of coming over through here, we haven't run into that scenario where there's like 4 raccoon dogs, maybe sometimes even more running all in one direction. That's something that we saw quite a few times early on and then really haven't seen that since. I don't know if that's just a matter of kind of respawns spreading out and not getting things all in one area or just not going through the right areas at the right time, but that was definitely a good way to get a bunch of respawns really quickly. As for today though, honestly not bad progress. Three golds, probably our best raccoon dog hunt so far. And considering the fact that we didn't even spend the entire hunt looking for them, in fact, really only the last 45, 50 minutes, there was a lot of time looking for black grouse and just not having a whole lot of success up in that area. So at least that's positive and we'll see if that gets us anywhere next time we get to hunt this map. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.